The 2023 McLaren Artura GT4 is one lethal race car. At the Goodwood Festival of Speed, McLaren Motorsport took the wraps off its all-new Artura GT4 race car. It's based on the new McLaren Artura supercar and draws some of its inspiration from the championship-winning 570S GT4 and 720S GT3 competition cars. The GT4 shares a lot of its technology with the McLaren Artura road car, which is the first model to feature the McLaren carbon lightweight architecture comprising carbon fiber monocoque at its core. The design of the chassis is motorsport-inspired, and the construction is believed to be a perfect platform for a race car, since a rigid structure keeps the driving environment safe. They've kept the weight as low as possible for the road car, and the same is found on the race car. The Artura comes with a compact V6 engine and components, like the exhaust system, make the GT4 race car over 220 pounds lighter than the McLaren 570S GT4 it will replace. The road car gets a hybrid powertrain with a new, twin-turbo 120-degree V6 engine, paired to an axial flux e-motor found in the gearbox. The V6 engine alone makes enough of power to meet the GT4 race car norms, no hybrid powertrains are allowed though, and the lack of hybrid components mean 286 pounds have been shaved off an already lightweight supercar. The space within the carbon monocoque for the hybrid battery in the road car now accommodates the fuel cell and ancillary drive system, this helps keep the weight central within the wheelbase. The new engine also features ultra-responsive twin turbochargers located within in V of the engine. It has been designed to better throttle response and fuel efficiency compared to the M838 V8 used in the 570S GT4 that had no electric power. The new engine is lighter and smaller, and this new V6 improves power-to-weight ratio and lowers the car's center of gravity. It was important the engine was tuned by Bosch Motorsport ECU in order to get the balance of performance management spot-on for the GT4 category. The Artura GT4 also comprises a modular motorsport wiring harness for serviceability, bringing down repair costs and time. Power is channeled via a 7-speed transmission with an updated set of ratios, optimized for performance. The gearbox system even has diagnostic software on board. In the standard road car, the e-motor is used as the reverse gear. However, as hybrid engines won't meet GT4 racing regulations, the gearbox in the Artura GT4 has been revised. There's no doubt that the Artura GT4 is aerodynamically efficient. The GT4 comes with an aerodynamic package that improves downforce, even more than the outgoing 570S GT4 upfront. There's a bespoke splitter, a bespoke bonnet duct and dive planes. The rear has a high-efficiency wing, featuring seven angle settings that cover various kinds of circuits. Drivers of McLarens have always loved the visibility from inside these cars, be it on the road or track. It is also reported that getting in and out of the GT4 is better, which is important because drivers have to change in the middle of the race as quickly as possible. Safety is just as good as it is on the McLaren 720S GT3, and this includes the fixed FIA 8862 spec driver's seat, the adjustable pedals and the steering wheel that's been inspired by the GT3 car, featuring illuminated buttons. There's even a new Bosch DDU instrument system. McLaren have improved the handling and suspension, compared to the 570S GT4. The width of the front wheels allow for better grip. There's a mechanical limited slip differential at the back, resulting in increased grip and performance. Even the braking system has been improved, along with performance, while fuel consumption is said to have reduced as well. The damping is a lot better too, so is brake cooling. Some driver aids include motorsport-specific anti-lock braking and traction control systems, with adjustment for grip. The GT4 features bespoke motorsport-specific components that improve durability, performance, and serviceability. Buyers of the Artura GT4 can also order various competition-specific bits to spec their car and suit the racing environment. This includes adding a passenger seat and harness, and both seats can be had in various sizes. Apart from that, customers can include a tire pressure monitoring system, a collision avoidance system, brake infrared sensors and a V-Box telemetry, among a host of other add-ons. The car can also be had with additional night racing lights.